Israeli forces shoot, kill two Palestinian boys in Jenin. Israeli forces shot and killed two Palestinian boys in Jenin today. Eight-year-old Adam Samer Uthman Al-Gal and 15-year-old Basil Suleiman Torfik Abu Al-Wafa were shot and killed by Israeli forces firing live ammunition from inside a heavily armored Israeli military vehicle around 1 p.m. near the Al-Halbani roundabout in the al 18 neighborhood of Jenin, according to documentation collected by Defense for Children International, Palestine. Both boys were transferred to Jenin Governmental Hospital where they were pronounced dead on arrival. Palestinian children in Jenin have been a routine target for the Israeli military, said Aid Abu Ektaish, Accountability Program Director at SIP. It is shocking that Israeli forces, sitting in an armored vehicle, can fatally shoot two children in broad daylight and the international community will refuse to hold them accountable. Adam was shot in the head while Basel was shot in the chest, according to information collected by SIP. Both boys sustained gunshot wounds from a distance of 10 to 15 meters, 33 to 49 feet, away. Basel was allegedly attempting to throw a homemade explosive device at the time Israeli forces shot and killed him. Israeli forces accompanied by bulldozers entered the Palestinian city of Jenin and Jenin refugee camp around 8 p.m. on 28 November. Israeli forces besieged three of Jenin's major hospitals, and armed Palestinians confronted them. During the Israeli military incursion, Israeli forces killed for Palestinians, including two children, and injured at least six others. The Israeli military incursion lasted until about 1 p.m. on 29 November. 64 Palestinian children have been killed in the occupied West Bank since October 7, according to documentation collected by TSIP when the Israeli military began a full-scale military offensive on the Gaza Strip dubbed Operation Iron Swords. So far this year, Israeli forces and settlers have killed at least 104 Palestinian children in the occupied West Bank, according to documentation collected by TSIP. Israeli forces and settlers shot and killed 90 Palestinian children with live ammunition, 9 Palestinian children were killed in drone strikes, for Palestinian children were killed by missiles fired from AU.S, sourced a Paish attack helicopter, and one child was killed in an Israeli warplane airstrike. At least 232 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces and settlers in the occupied West Bank since October 7, according to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. Under international law, Intentional lethal force is only justified in circumstances where a direct threat to life or of serious injury is present. However, investigations and evidence collected by TSIP regularly suggest that Israeli forces use lethal force against Palestinian children in circumstances that may amount to extrajudicial or willful killings.